Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Mina Camille and I am here with another video. Today I am going to be revealing the new Jo Malone fragrance, C. Daffodil. So let's go ahead and jump right into this review. Um, so it comes of course in your traditional Jo Malone box packaging. If you ever had something from her, it usually looks like this unless it's some sort of special packaging. But the bottle is different. So this collection is limited edition. Um, it launched with a few other fragrances. Um, one of them being the Sakura Bossom that is exclusive to Sephora only. This one isn't the one that's exclusive. Let me see if I can get it there okay um so this is the bottle it's really cute looks so cute on the vanity it has the uh sphere cap i wish it was magnetic it's not but it's still nice um and it's definitely like a good change from her standard bottles so this is the sea daffodil um like i said it released with a few other fragrances this one is described as a fresh, um, in terms of the fragrance family, it is a fresh citrus and fruits. Uh, the keynotes are yellow mandarin, sea daffodil, and vanilla. Uh, for the scent description, it is, according to Sephora's website, this is where I'm getting this from, um, it is a chance discovery along the coast. Rare and exquisite white sea daffodils in the salt blown sands of southern Italy. Uh, this solar, floral, luminous, and radiant fragrance has ling ling and is rooted in the warmth of vanilla entwined with creamy sandalwood. Uh, the bottle is also said to be inspired by the Mediterranean Sea. So I will say, um, if you guys already seen my Sephora haul, that was kind of my first impression of this um, in the sense that I didn't own the bottle yet. I had ordered it and was waiting for it to get to me, but I did smell it and I did see the bottle. And like I was saying then, and it's still true, I was going to see if it changed now that I own it and I can wear it. Um, but I think that's the same. So when I first smelled this, I immediately thought of the beach and I said tropical but I don't mean tropical like uh, tropical is the wrong word I just meant the beach um, like literally like suntan and or sunscreen and um, there's not a coconut scent in here it just gives me it just reminds me of that if you've smelled Beach Walk from Margiela, um, it reminds me of that. It's very, it reminds me of that mixed with, and I said this in my other video, mixed with the Marc Jacobs Mod Noir fragrance and the sense that you do get a white floral smell from there um, that really comes through, but it's layered with this sort of beachy, salty skin smell. Um, I think that's what I mean by the beach is a salt skin smell and uh, that is what it describes it smells like what it describes um, when I smell this like I'm immediately transported to walking along the coast uh, you know water salt water slapping your feet as you're walking through the sands uh, beautiful day like that's what I think of when I smell this fragrance it's beautiful it is the perfect summer scent it's very light it's not overpowering um, it's I will say if you have Margiela let me give me one second let me actually grab that one moment let's let's compare so I don't have the full bottle of the replica fragrance, but I do have the cute little mini size. Um, and I've owned like the roller ball in the past. So I'm just going to put this on my other hand and just give a side by side comparison. Just to have a more accurate 
vintage here. So I have this on this hand and then I'm going to respray this on my wrist. And let's do a side by side. Let's give it a chance to dry. Okay. Mmm. Okay, so smelling them side by side the best that I can with this little cold that I have. Um, the Jo Malone fragrance actually comes across as a little more sophisticated in the sense that you smell more of the floral notes. It smells um, more refined in that way, more like a fragrance. The Margiela scent to me, it smells more like a skin scent. It literally smells like the memory or the feel of being on the beach. Like it smells like sunscreen in the best way possible. I, I mean that in the, if sunscreen costs like a million dollars, that's what this smells like. Versus the Margiela, I mean, sorry, the Jo Malone, you get more floral notes you get more um, sophistication with it for sure. So yeah, I want to do like a more, a more break, a bigger breakdown than that. But um, unfortunately my nose isn't as reliable as it usually is right now. That's just what I'm getting off of all I can smell. I've smelled both of these when I wasn't sick, um, but I just didn't do a side by side so yeah, that's that's good to know. The Jo Malone is definitely different. So if you do have Margiela, you can still get the Jo Malone. Do you need it? Not necessarily. They're in this to me. They're in a very similar um, class. They both have like a, a salt smell to it, a sunscreen kind of smell. The Jo Malone is just more of a like fragrancy floral version of that, if you will. Um, Maybe I can compare it to the Tom Ford one, although I do feel like the Tom Ford one takes on a more oriental vibe. Like just from my thoughts of Tom Ford, I feel like that one, I don't know if oriental is the right word. It has like a more warmer vibe to me, um, a more rich, more intense vibe than the Jo Malone and the Margiela um, in terms of the level of sophistication. I think that one is sort of in a different class. Do you need all three? Definitely not. Um, if you already have Tom Ford, maybe I would just stick with the Tom Ford one, to be honest. Um, but definitely give this one a try because this one is a little bit different. Um, and it does have some, it does, there's something about this. I don't know why I'm getting like white florals. Um, maybe that is the sea daffodil probably right um, but yeah that's what I'm getting from this and it smells really good so I did wear this I've been wearing this since I got it I've had it for about a week now um, and I will say that it definitely is one of the longer wearing Jo Malone's that I have owned uh, my favorite Jo Malone fragrance is the Mimosa and Cardamom and that one does not last on me at all unfortunately I think maybe two hours max I get out of that one this one, however, I would say I get more of like a six, four to six hour wear on this one, which is for me impressive for a Jo Malone because if you've owned a Jo Malone, like you know, they just disappear. They go like that. Um, so for this one, if I can get four to six hours, I am impressed in terms of the brand. Um, unfortunate, but true. It is a cologne, so it, it's not as strong. Although she says that she just uses that now and some of them are actually perfumes. Um, they don't have some of the staying power that some of the other ones have for about the same price point. So just keep that in mind. If you're new to Jo Malone, I would highly suggest sampling first just to see how it wears on your skin. And if you like the scent enough to still buy it, if it does disappear pretty fast, uh, because our scents are beautiful they they smell really good they're light they're um not all of them are light but most of them are light most of them are like everyday appropriate work appropriate um and they're just like great kind of signature scents that you can have 
this is no different. I love this. I'm glad that I have it in my collection. I have no regrets. Um, and I am pleasantly surprised uh, just with everything. I mean, the packaging, like, hello. Cute. It's so cute. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy with this. This is a super short review, but I just wanted to talk about it a little bit, see your guys' thoughts. I will say I have smelled this collection. Um, it was Silk Blossom, Sakura Blossom, I think. Um, and there was another one. What was the other one? I forgot. Citrus? I forgot the other one. But I think there was four. And I smelled all of them. And to me, this one was definitely my favorite. Um, it is the skin scent, if you will, of them all. And it, to me, it screams summer. Um, there was a few other ones that were really good too. The one that I'm forgetting the name of, I also really liked. Um, Silk Blossom was good. Sakura was okay. Uh, but I know that's a huge favorite. So yeah, definitely go in. Go into Sephora, go into Nordstrom, check them out, see which one you like, and then let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And that is all I have for this video. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Down